Ariel. It's my first national title. And it's my biggest trophy, too. Michael. Michael has got a very uh, unique style. And he attacks everything. I mean, he's really fun to watch. And Lily. I can't imagine, like, not playing table tennis. Are all teenage table tennis champions. They represent the US in international table tennis tournaments. To be this good, this young, takes sacrifice from all the family. Ariel's dad has quit his job to coach Ariel full time. My dad's given up his job. I know that he can do so much right now, but he's here with me. Now it's not just me, but it's my entire family sacrificing for me. To be a champion in an individual sport like table tennis can be lonely. I sometimes wish table tennis was like a team sport. You know, you see on TV all these people on a team, and you see when they win together, they're happy together, and they lose, they're sad together. And that's when I realized that table tennis is a lonely sport sometimes. For Lily, it's important to play table tennis and spend time with her friends. Her friends think it's an unusual sport, but they are impressed by her dedication to it. Oh, I first met her in sixth grade. They're like, oh yeah, this is Lily, and she plays table tennis, and I was like, Okay, that's kind of unusual. Lily also wants to do really well at school. She's always gone and missing school and at practice like seven days a week. And she's still in harder classes than me and gets better grades than me. So I'm just like, I don't know how you do it. Michael is so dedicated to table tennis that he doesn't go to school he studies from home, which gives him more time to train. Sometimes, Michael even travels to China to practice. The coaches there encourage their students to train for 12 hours a day. Even though Michael is one of the best players in the United States, he is average compared to the top Chinese players. Michael, Ariel, and Lily have made it to the top of their sport in the US through a combination of talent, sacrifice, mental toughness, and supportive parents. If they keep improving, they may even be able to win a medal at the Olympic Games, something that might inspire more young people in the US to play table tennis.